From Ogun Camps, it reports that the state governor, Dakwa Biodun, has advised teachers in the state to acquire new knowledge, especially in sciences. This is said will ensure that students are imbibed with prerequisite knowledge, which will propel them towards economic growth and human capital development. Governor Abiodu, who was represented by a special advisor on education, Professor Abayomi Aribabu, stated this at the closing ceremony of the training of the capacity building workshop for 750 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics term teachers in public secondary schools in the state and 100 education officers held at Akianle in a Wekoro local government area. Our correspondent, Jumoke Debari, has more on this story. The Ogun State Government seemed to have raised the bar of teaching and learning of science, technology, engineering and mathematics as 750 STEM teachers across public secondary schools in the state have been taken through rudiments of modern ways of teaching the subject after a three-week capacity building. According to the special advisor to the Ogun State Governor on Education, Professor Abayomi Arigbabu, the move is to adequately equip the teachers in order to encourage and stimulate the interest of students in science education. Representing the governor of the state at the closing ceremony of the three-week-long program, the special advisor promised more reforms in the education sector in order to reposition the sector for greater heights. Let me underscore the fact that our intervention in education, particularly STEM, STEM education, has been yielding outstanding results. Let me inform you that in our efforts to further encourage the state workforce and pushing the effect of the removal of the fuel subsidy, I have ordered the immediate release of promotion letters in respect of 2021 and 2022, as well as payment of another two months, March and April 2023, leave bonuses for all public servants in the state. Similarly, we have started the payment of 10,000 Naira to all public servants and pensioners in the state as part of palliative measures to help workers cope with the economic shock occasioned by the removal of the fuel subsidy. All these were put in place to provide succor in the face of harsh economic reality in Nigeria. The special advisor in the state's Ministry of Budget and Planning, Ola Binton, also asked participants to make good of the experience gained to disabuse the minds of pupils about the supposed difficulties in science subjects. You are the key to the economic transformation of Ogun State. Because when we upgrade skills, then we have the ability to do then we have the raw material that goes into industry. I really appreciate this seminar because it is going to bring a total turnaround to education in Ogun State. Not only Ogun State, but even in the life of we, the teachers in Ogun State. Because what we are carrying back home now, we are going back home as newly branded teacher. These selected teachers are expected to impact the new knowledge not only to their students, but also to other science-based teachers in their areas of jurisdiction. From Abi Ukuta, Jumoke Adebari, reporting for Kaftan Television News.